good. There's one final step I want to do. Well, maybe two. Uh, I want to add some contrast. And I'm going to use another uh, long-term filter, the Pro Contrast filter, which I really like. Um, if you were going to, if I was going to do one thing to any image, it would be this Pro Contrast filter. Um, now, if you've got a color cast in your image, there is a correct color cast slider here that is going to attempt to examine your image and figure out what color cast is in there, and you can drag that slider up and it will attempt to remove that. Now in my case you can see it's making the image, if it's looking a little orangey there, goes a little bluey cyan -y there. Um, I don't particularly think this image needs any color contrast, color cast removal. I, I like it colored the way it is. Um, but I do want to do some stuff with contrast. Now we've got two contrast sliders and it's really hard to explain to you what they both do. I can't even explain to you having looked at what uh, Nick Software says what they, says they do, um, except that they both seem to have something to do with the brightness and tonality of the image as it finds it. This is a contrast tool that is uh, tailored to the image. It examines the image and decides where the contrast needs to be added. And these two sliders work in two slightly different ways. So let's have a play with them, and you can see. Um, so if I drag the correct contrast up, you can see that everything goes up and down together. Oh, everything's being brightened. The face is being brightened. The background's being brightened. Obviously, the dark areas are being protected and not being brightened. But anywhere that's brightish it gets brighter. And it's starting to look almost like a metallic print if I go too bright. But you can see that that's not affecting the color. It's just keeping, it's just increasing the contrast. And it's doing a nice overall contrast. Now let's try the other slider, the dynamic contrast. And look, what, watch where it gets brighter. It gets brighter on the door back here, but not so much on the face. So let me drag that back up. The door gets brighter. The face a little bit, but not so much. So what this is doing is this is going to even out the contrast. Anywhere where there's already bright contrasts is going to protect, and anywhere where it's a bit sort of murky and not very contrasty, it's going to increase the contrast more. So I think that's what it's doing, based on experience, not based on having been told or having any special knowledge. But what I would suggest is play with them both, look at how it affects your image, decide what it is that works best for your image, and then use that slider, or maybe a combination of both. And what I'm going to do is I want to just brighten that background just a shade. Uh, yeah, just No, maybe not. I think I'll go with the con correct contrast. I did say I, I explore these things as I go. But I think uh, the reason I picked this contrast uh, plug-in filter there is another contrast fil a filter, contrast only. Um, I prefer the, the pro contrast. I think it, it gives nicer results. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.